welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it. Hit me with those funky strobes, Kevin. You want the strobe lights? Can you do the Nobody strobes? Nobody else can see this. Oh, <laughs> turn it off. I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> Kevin, turn it off. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, as always, this show is brought to you by you, the patrons. Uh, I'm still in your line a little bit, but... No, uh, it's okay. I want to... We... We certainly appreciate the support. We do only have one new patron this time, uh, but we are going to thank in the traditional way. So are you ready, Will? Uh, I am more than ready. I am prepared. Good. <laughs> Kai Terry. The tangy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. I'm in. He's so tangy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's right. He's thank got, you he's got to all of you patrons him. out there. Uh, we do funk. have... That's right. <laughs> uh... <laughs> For anybody that wants the November rewards, uh, if you are interested in picking those up, you do only have a few more days to sign up. Uh, you have until the very last day in November. We will honor it up until the very last day. But on December 1st, we are switching, and the patrons have voted. Uh, we have our... And the winner is the new president of It Resolves. The new president. Presidents? Uh, are there? It's three, right? It's three. The At the $3 tier. <laughs> At the $3 tier, we have the damnation. Uh, unstable damnation. Ooh. Uh, which is, I think, one of my favorites of that how, that frame. How I tangy. think that's beautiful. It's good. Uh, Ashiok Nightmare Weaver yeah, at five dollars. Buddy, that's a, that'll be uh, that'll be great. Very one. close, actually, between that and uh, I want to say Elspeth or something like that. No, but, okay. Uh, uh, definitely, Ashiok looks sweet. And uh, Kozilek the Great Distortion at the eight dollar tier. Curious. Yeah, that's cool. Um, that's the first Eldrazi, I think. No, no I'm sorry. We did Emrakul. Uh, Emrakul, I did yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, uh, but that's Mama. the first one with that card frame yeah um you and i still have to talk about incorporating lands which we will oh. do after this stay tuned totally lands are this. coming uh that's the plan though we do have uh some back stock of land proxies yeah. that get we... ready to get ready for your lands we got them stocked in the back you could put your seed all over that and eventually <laughs> put your seed all over that <laughs> you heard me <laughs> all right I'm I'll, we're just, we're just you I'm know in. grow your grow your crops we got a land for sale. I'm sorry in advance for this episode, guys. Uh, it's going to be a weird one. It is going to be a fun one. Uh, we are talking ban restricted stuff for oh, a little thank God. bit. Yes. We're like a few days late to the party to talk about this. Yeah, but, uh, that's okay. Schedules, you know. Yeah, it is what we it don't, is. We don't break for anything. No. Wizards we of the Coast. We stick to our schedule. A tsunami? Whatever would happen. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't care. We don't change. No. We'll record in a hurricane if it's the weekend <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna uh, talk about that uh, uh lot to talk about there uh and yeah, then man. we're also gonna talk about our uh, the new favorite novel of mtg lore uh oh yeah how baby. exciting uh yeah we're gonna harp on that for we're a gonna read while. a little bit of that yeah that's gonna together. be fun. here uh, we go before we get into that we do have yeah. a random card of the day so let's do that in three two one Oh, Land of War Elves. Ooh, what a, a spicy little green boy. What a lovely card. What a man, uh, what a, a mana dork. For anyone who doesn't know what the definition of a mana dork is, uh, it's a 1-1 one, one for one green that taps for also one green. Yeah. Lovely. That's it. Uh, Yeah, this card's Done. great. Absolutely fantastic, Uh, both in Constructed and in Draft. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, mean, he's you You play these even in Commander sometimes. Like, yeah, he, they're, easy. Yeah. Crater hoof them out. Um, sure. That's my favorite thing to do with elves. Is it's, just yeah. crater hoof at the end, like ramp into a crater hoof and sure. then just win. <laughs> yeah, because very quickly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, elves are a really really fun deck actually in multiple formats. If you're elves if you've never played yeah. them, um, elves have always been kind of just like up in everyone's grill. They're in just always like pretty in. solid. Yeah. Like I, I guess not like vintage. Yeah, there's vintage elves, decks. but like um, legacy elves is quite good. Like, um, is it though? Yeah, honestly, it is. is like, it? it's pretty easy. What does it do? That's different uh, than the modern one. It ramps one. out on like turn two. There's infinite combos and things like that oh, in it that you that's can you had to say. like. Yeah, you can turbo out crater hoof like super super quick on turn um, two. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, that's With like nettle sentinels and uh, heritage druid. Oh yeah. It's like oh, super yeah, easy yeah, to yeah, ramp. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Real quick. I forgot about nettle. Yeah, yeah. The nettles. That sentinel of the nettle. Um, forgot about him yeah for... you can do some really broken stuff with okay. elves it's actually a really sweet deck uh the problem with that deck and constructed at least mm. is that you've run very few lands you only need okay. like one land to get the deck going that's 
terrifying but yeah it's like you only have like 10 12 lands or something like that and are you so it's kidding like, me right now i don't know exactly what the land count 12? is but it's very very low um hmm. so that's gross yeah but it does some crazy stuff correct me if i'm wrong i i'm fairly certain it's a very very low land count I've, though wow um that's nuts it is pretty nuts but land of elves very key card in all of those decks i mean modern all the way through probably vintage um yeah. but anyway yeah that's our card of the day. We are going to okay. jump into the Bannon Restricted Announcement that was Ooh. announced on November 18th. Writing many wrongs here. Uh, oh, also, one thing. This uh, this article was written by Ian Duke. This is what reminded me. Congratulations to Reed Duke. He made it in the Hall of Fame. Ba -ba -ba! He, he was, was the, the only one. Only one. Who was nominated. In the 2019, time, right? yeah. Uh, was he the only one eligible? I guess that was probably I think the case. So, yeah. Right. Um, but congratulations. Of all people, I feel like Reed's one to deserve yeah. it. It's not like I know him personally, but he just nah. is like one of the most solid players, one of yeah. the nicest players. He's an advocate for sportsmanship for sure. He's probably like been the same person since Magic has yeah. like started. Oh yeah. Reed Duke was just up there uh waiting. He's just working out all day, <laughs> just making jewelry, making jewelry in his in the in the garage, just doing pull ups. And then, <laughs> who else but uh, William Huey Jensen? Yes, and the other one, Owen. Owen Turtonwald roll up in like a, I don't know, ninety four, uh, Ford Fiesta. This is so interesting to just listen hop to. out, and yeah. they're like, "Hey, Reed, do you want to play a quick game?" And Reed puts down his two hundred seventy eight pound dumbbell. That he was just specific. I like it. And he goes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> games. I like games. <laughs> and that's how it was born. The uh, peach. What are they? The peach, peach garden. Oath? The peach tea oath. The peach garden. Oath. <laughs> peach tea. Oath. <laughs> yeah. You know, classic beverage Man, enjoyed by every quickly. magic. I say that every time. Yeah. I'm going to. There's a funky energy happening. I know you're in a weird mood. I don't know what it is. I'm coming off of uh, weed. I just want. It's the. It's not like you just said weed, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> oh, I was trying to say we, as in my wife and I. Yeah, we just no, finished totally watching uh, the Patriots game, which was a high point oh. of energy for the evening. So you're wait. How did it go? We won, oh, which is cool. I uh, super go Pats, but I'm. You're like crashing hard now. Well, no. See, here's no. Here's what happened, Kev. Yeah. Uh, you drink every time you play the game. Uh, you watch the games. I see. And then, Kevin, did you know what I forgot to do? What? Not drink so I could drive over here <laughs> and record this podcast. So you're a little intoxicated at the moment. Or I'm lying for comedic effect. Which do you think it is? I know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely positive. You know what's really funny? Huh? is uh, So <clears throat> we made... So we... This is so... We're just... It's, or lean, just into it. lean into it we What's up, caitlin and i yeah. caitlin's my lady friend for those who don't know have we announced that before i don't know sorry he's off the table yeah i'm taken gentlemen if our demographic is to be believed <laughs> on youtube and <laughs> everywhere else i think it's a solid like three percent are female yeah it was something very low but hey we welcome everybody all three percent of you um yeah we took the no girls allowed sign down for season two <laughs> for season two so. um but we put the no kids allowed sign up that's right we were just like that's right we could not hold there back, has but... to be a line somewhere we want to we want to have a little control over the, yeah, the clientele exactly um but no we went grocery shopping and we bought uh -huh. an apple pie because we made dinner and then we were like well let's have this an apple pie for dessert okay and yeah. so i made um like i bought heavy mm. cream and like made whipped cream because what do you think heavy cream is do you think it's just whipped cream that carries the sins of its past like, yeah no totally you know it's, it's just, just a little really bit. dark right that's why you have to add the sugar to sweeten it up a little bit right when you whip it into whipped cream anyway so we made whipped cream oh gosh and i was really tempted to be like dude let's make some irish coffee oh okay. and we'll have irish coffee because we have baileys we'll make irish coffee yeah. and record an episode and it's yeah. gonna be a good time that and now i'm glad great. i didn't do that <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm upset you didn't do that. Yeah, I bet. But I'm hurt. That do you sucks. see it? Do you, <laughs> do you see, see the hurt? Do you see the hurt? <laughs> I gotta sh remind me to show ghost. you another YouTube channel after this. Anyway, guys, so we're okay. gonna talk ban and restricted announcement. Yeah, uh, these... November eighteenth was when Ooh. this was announced. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna run through this really quick and then we'll jump back. Yeah. Uh, standard. Oko, Thief of Crowns, uh, banned. Goodbye. Once Upon a Time, banned. Oh, goodbye. Veil of Summer, banned. 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> Brawl. Can I just say real quick, two out of three. Two out of three, yeah. I predict. And honestly, I should have known Once Upon a Time yeah, was out, yeah, yeah. but... Uh, I didn't really... Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, great. That's Brawl, great. Oko, Thief of, Thief of Crowns is also banned yeah. there. Legacy, Ren and Six is banned. Yes, that uh, makes which sense to I'm me. I'm interested in. I like that, but I think that that's interesting. Uh, vintage, Narset, Parter of Veils is restricted. Also makes sense to me. Does make a lot of sense. So That's good. We're going to go ground up because Standard's obviously the one that has a oh, lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, um, baby. I'll go ahead and say Brawl. Don't care that much about uh, it's fine. Oko's banned, in my opinion. I think right. it's probably for the best. I don't know the meta super well, so I can't comment heavily on it. Uh, so um, I do. Here's the thing, Kev. Please go for uh, it. So with uh, Oko, Thief of Crowns, and Brawl is brutal, and here's why. I'm playing with Oko in every commander deck I can. <laughs> uh, so here's what happens. Yeah. Um, with your commander, he can do a bunch of cool stuff. Mm. You got commanders that can that could fly. You got commanders that can make little dudes. You got commanders that, like, tap on tap, bring stuff back. from. They can do all sorts of cool things. You know what can't do any of those cool things? 3-3 mm. three, three elks. <laughs> do you know what just die <laughs> and go nowhere else if you exile them or or anything? Yeah. 3-3 three, three elks. Yeah. So what you would do <laughs> is Oko is your commander. Yeah. In Brawl. Or, sorry, you just play him. Yeah. And you just make him their commander. A three three elk. A three three elk. And then it's not they mm. can't replay it, they can't do anything, it's just an and elk. now they have a sixty card singleton deck. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking Led awful. by an elk. <laughs> right. Uh and, interesting. And Santa's lost reindeer over there. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Just, I never really thought about that interaction, yeah. but that's very smart. Um it's Okay, brutal. so that makes more sense now. Yeah. Um it's and just mean. definitely is a good thing to do. So I'm in. Yeah. Um uh Ren and six being banned in legacy there's a lot of stats and data that support this uh yeah the teamer deck in particular was very very strong because of Ren and six uh it yeah. deals with a lot of stuff uh on board and you know token generators things like that pretty well uh, yes, but it also exactly. gives you recursion for lands which is pretty awesome uh all of that being on a two mana planeswalker which is insane uh, and so, honestly, mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense. That teamer deck was hitting over 50% of the meta, or not 50% of the meta. The win rate was well over 50% or something like that, uh, okay. which is relatively high for a single deck. I didn't know any deck. of the data, so uh, I They can't speak quoted to it. it. But... I can pull that up. So, teamer Delver managed to maintain mm -hmm. a 56.5 mm -hmm. win rate uh, and earned over three times as many 5 0 finishes as the next deck. Oh, wow. Uh, which is pretty sweet. I mean, that's huge. That's, that's head, head and shoulders above the competition. Yes. Uh, it was also just super favorable in a lot of other matchups. So it just makes a lot of sense that they would get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, it dealt well with things like Mother of Runes, Thalia, Young right. Pyromancer. All, right. A lot of the other big decks were shot down with Ren and yeah. Six alone. Same um, same like theories with Narset. <laughs> it just turns off a lot of other yeah, decks. Yeah, in Vintage, you know? Narset prevents you from drawing extra cards. Uh, prevents the opponent, excuse me, from drawing mm -hmm. extra cards and unfortunately that's half of vintage so exactly uh it shuts exactly. it down pretty heavily turns, obviously yeah. they can't ban it so they restricted it which is enough i think um but narset very very yeah. powerful there any card draw focused format narset's going to be amazing in definitely uh, and vintage very very heavily favors that with things like ancestral and you know all the big powerful spells uh, it shuts down any draw sevens, like Wheel of Fortune cards, right. things like that. Oh, that's yeah, brutal. It's it's pretty brutal for stuff like that. Uh, and so it is a very very good call in my opinion. Um, yeah. I don't I don't think they gave too much in the way of stats. Uh, I was just making yeah. the 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 games very very one sided and very oppressive. Uh, yeah. So. They kind of got just nixed it as best they could, and I'm fine yeah, with that. Yeah, they want to eliminate as many non-games as possible. Yeah. You know, I mean, you it just shuts you out. Like, that's the yeah. problem. You it's don't spend $20,000 on magic cards and vintage. To be shut down by Narset. Right. An uncommon from a standard set. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is pretty hard. You're exactly right. Yeah, that feels bad. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, uh, all of those, in my opinion, are very good calls, uh, as well as all the standard ones. So oh, yes. Let's jump on. Okay, so anybody that didn't listen to the last episode of us ranting about how good green is, go listen to that. For context. We'll For pause. context. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Just hang on. Do you think they're gone? God, I hope so. All right. Now we can say whatever the fuck we want. 
I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, Oko, Thief of Crowns. Let's start there. The big man himself. Yeah. Uh, finally fucking gone. So, Re- yeah. I mean, it's no surprise. We talked about all of this in the last episode. Crazy high win percentage. Yep. Crazy high percentage of played decks. Yeah. All because of this one motherfucking card. This dude. Yeah. yeah. And uh, his his uh, affinity for woodland creatures. Yep. This this fella right here. This likes to eat and make some elk. Sweet elf boy. Sweet little elf boy. He is got is he an elf? Is that he's stated a shapeshifter? So he's so yes. He but, can be. So no, but actually yes. Yeah, totally. He can be anything he wants. He could be you. What are he, you, Oka? Um, I don't have a joke prepared for that. <laughs> um no (laughs) okay uh yeah so oko was just a three mana planeswalker that comes in and basically sits on six loyalty or something like that essentially well yeah you Um, come in because you plus him make a food uh, yeah always because it gets out of fry range yeah it's like absolutely crazy so fucking ridiculous was it that they print a card designed to kill walkers in the colors that oko is in which he is, by the way, one of like two playables. Well, yeah. in green anyway, but so because it hits white and green, right? Yeah. So he's one of two green walkers in standard right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I guess because Domri raid, right? Domri is no a one, thing. Yeah. No one plays him. No, they do. Gruel is back on the market now. Mm. Thanks to Oko not do being they need in Domri it. though. Well, whatever. Oh, well, so I guess there's also in. another one. Yeah. There's also there's two Domries. There's too. also Haste Girl. Um. Oh yeah, but she doesn't. Oh, there smooth. are two Domries. Yeah. There's right. Two Domries. Wait. 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 Hold on. Dude, you're drunk. Don't even worry about it. There's War. <laughs> Is there a Domri in the new Ravnica? There was. Am I dumb? There were two Domries. I don't remember where they were both. I believe to. you. Anyway, all my my <laughs> point is Oko doesn't die to fry. No, it because doesn't. it's ridiculous. R and D really shit the bucket there. Really, yeah. they really they were just really like, fucked the dog on hey, that one. We want... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Screw Oko's <laughs> gone. <laughs> I get it. I know what you meant. That's uh, for the kids still listening <laughs> who didn't understand. <laughs> um, yeah, Oko being gone is really really good because it gets all of these like sultai food decks and all these crazy crazy decks out of the meta uh which is amazing on top of that once upon a time which i did not really have on my radar uh i do think once upon a time is a decent card uh but i think it has its place and i don't think that place is necessarily the most oppressive thing in the world um but it does add consistency to a very early por- portion of the game, and I think that's very good. So, like, I kind of get it, but I think it's a bit preemptive. Nah, um, the I reasons they cited mm-hmm. was that it, it helped make green a more oppressive color, which I sure. agree. Uh, I mean, it obviously does very easily. However, uh, considering the fact that they were first banning Oko and then also banning Veil of Summer, I think it, they could have been okay with potentially leaving Once Upon a Time in. Um, I think, I'm not terribly upset about it. I but think I just maybe, mean, but here's what I'll say. Yeah. No other colors right now have free spells, right? Well, Ley Lines. We have all the Ley Lines. But, like, Ley Lines are sideboard tech exclusively uh, and standard. Yeah, much, right? for the most part. Like, I mean, the red well, one you'd have Anticipation to... wasn't, but yes. <laughs> no, it's standard it was. In, in uh, Pioneer, it wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. In Pioneer. And you mean Abundance, right? Abundance. Is right. that what you meant? The mana that one? That is what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, stay in your lane over there. Stand... St- Plot twist. I'm the drunk Modern one. boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Modern boy sounds like a really underhanded insult, like a a boomer would say to yeah, somebody yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> like you walk down the street with just a little bit too much pep and some old guy goes all right there modern boy yeah, exactly <laughs> it's like i think that was rude i'll choose to take that as an insult and fuck you good sir where was i uh once oh, upon a time. free spells yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, no, that's fair it's a free spell and um green gets the most mana anyway uh, yeah, yeah I mean, so why right. not just make them pay for stuff that's not fair. extra that's oh now i sound like a boomer anyway my point is <laughs> nice way to bring that full circle my point is um <clears throat> yeah it goes into uh a couple different decks i think kevin you are right in saying that um it wasn't necessarily the problem like right. or it added consistency, definitely, which I get. Definitely. And, like, I understand their reasoning, and I think right. it's fair. I just think that, like, 
I don't think they would have had to immediately ban it. I think we could have had yeah. a little bit of time without Oko and without Vale, where that might be true. Once upon a time was still in, and that we could at true. least see it. That might be true. It might have turned out that it was still fairly oppressive, like a little too much, um, and it would have mm. definitely pushed into the like Gruel Aggro decks and things like that. Where well, like, that's the thing is it's it's in mm-hmm. Gruel Aggro. Well, it was R I P in peace. Uh, yeah. But the Gruel Aggro decks got it. Yeah. Um, Green White Adventures got it. Yes. A lot of decks played it. A lot of decks played it, but I don't think that that's a bad thing if a lot of decks are playing it. I think it's you're spreading out. Do you, I mean it's focusing it on creature decks, sure. Yeah, but it's but that a is wide the, variety of decks are getting it, which I think is pretty important to think about. But creature so, like, decks are the majority of the meta right now, anyway. Well, so right, so take it out and maybe you let like other decks kind of have their. Thing. Well, yes, I I mean I agree, but I think um, mixing Veil of Summer helps mm-hmm. with that pretty significantly on its own because Veil of Summer is the like the anti-blue card right like blue and uh, black yeah i mean 100 percent. yeah um it's and so disgusting. to mix that just means yeah. that like now we can start playing a little bit more of the like targeted removal things and like stuff like that like we can That's do a little true. bit more and so i don't know if that was enough to like i mean once upon a time is going to push you to- towards the creature decks but like not having veil in the format might have been enough to get people to like start mm-hmm. playing different decks not just once upon a time decks well here's here's what i like about the once upon a time ban too mm-hmm. it makes green decks consider the mulligan more yes because that's important you know if you like are a card short if you're a creature short like if you if you don't got that sweet honking boy yeah in your opening hand yeah you're like, God, these two Wicked Wolves look really spicy <laughs> if I only had some sweet goose meat to go along with it. Yeah. So, but if you have... If you have Once Upon a Time right, in your hand, you're then like, you can pull mm, it. And I get that. You know what I mean? It the, makes a mulligan... Well, it makes keeping a hand with a Once Upon a Time a lot easier. But yeah. um, I, I, I understand that it helps push it in that way. So I'm Definitely. not... I, I don't know for sure if it was like if it was too oppressive um, i don't think oppress i think green as a whole as the green as a whole was yeah. the oppressive thing D- but yes. like once upon yeah, a yeah, time yeah, yeah. just added the consistency and so i don't sure. know if it was too much consistency is my only thing yeah it's i guess the question is like what do you want to fix with green yeah do you want to you get you took their their scariest <laughs> threat you know yeah. which by the way everyone has completely no one talks about how oko is also blue they just yeah, kind of yeah, write him like, into being he's green. green and it's like well he is also blue right um yeah he really only does one green thing though like switching a thing stealing stuff you mean one blue thing that's what i meant to say yeah what did i thought I say? so you said one green thing i was no, like he does two, two of his green things yeah he does he two green, green things right, yeah right, right, um right. no you're right but, but like, anyway he was much more i mean the whole point was mm-hmm. the gilded goose and you know the yeah. focus on the green stuff right. so that kind of makes sense but but okay um, he uh so they took away their scariest threat they yeah. also took their Green doesn't have its cantrip or a counter anymore in Veil of Summer. Yes. That's gone. Yeah. Goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, I mean, I'm happy with all of it. I, it's yeah. good because now we can see a variety of I'm decks. Only, I'm disappointed because I bought a lot of stock in Pitchfork Companies in Washington because I thought <laughs> my assumption was <laughs> they were going to raid. They were going to riot? There was a bunch of people who were going to go to the coast with such a vehemence in their heart. That they forgot to stock up for the yeah. for the riots. Were you gonna give them haste or plus one plus one? Oh, I mean plus one plus one. There's such a there's such a volume. Yeah. That you know. Yeah. They're coming with haste anyway. I'm trying to make this like a, I'm they, trying to relate this back. They guys. came I'm with sorry. haste anyway. Yeah. They can't be white weenies because white weenies are little dudes, right? But <laughs> let's be honest about ourselves, magic players. <laughs> are the majority of us are not that small yeah i myself am a 280 pound god <laughs> anyway all this i'm is saying so is stupid all anyway, i'm saying is this is a good this is a this good was call. a good band list. good on like, you thank I, you wizards for... there is not something here that i strongly disagreed with again nope. the once upon a time thing was the only thing that i was like eh, it might have been a little preemptive but i don't think it was a bad call by any means yeah um no i think so, it's all good i think it's all good things i'm not yeah I'm not um, upset in the slightest. No, I'm not either. Um, so let's, I'm happy with it all. Real quick, yeah. we'll get, let's spin the crystal orb a little bit here. Yeah. Where does standard go? Do you have any bold predict? 
Well, I think with all of these bands, Teferi mm-hmm. gets significantly better. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's kind of an obvious call. Esper Control comes back um, pretty heavily. Uh, we still have Dovin's Veto. We still have some really, like, Mortify is still in, so we've got the good removal. Oh, that's true. Um, we've got a lot of good stuff in that Esper Control list that is still available to us. We've got uh, Kaya's Wrath as a sweeper. Like, mm-hmm. we've still got mm-hmm. a lot of the good pieces. It just wasn't good enough to keep up with the because they could just steal food. they could steal your teferi right and fight whatever you play right i mean and veil could now remove counters veil removes over half of that deck i mean you yeah. know what it, like it deals with half of that deck and exactly. so now i think that that lends itself pretty well to that i like that. um i'm seeing uh on arena at least there's a number of like ember cleave aggro decks which are okay. really fun yeah um like black red aggro sure uh, and it's generally night focused obviously but like it's it's doing some work like you do have to consider ember cleave as a strong strong threat now pretty early in a game that's a good call um yeah. and so i i'm actually kind of happy to see that because we were both very very stoked on ember cleave. ember cleave's a fun card um i mean it's a strong it's card a fun it's um, a fun <laughs> magic card right there it is uh and Makes so to happy. see that hit standard finally um yeah. is very very sweet not that it i'm sure it was played before but mm-hmm. now obviously it has its day uh, sure. to actually make waves sure, i think sure, sure. um i'm sure like I, I watch a lot of like jank decks on youtube so like the the like jeskai merriment like oh y- silly stuff sure yeah just because it's fun that's not gonna change the meta or shake the meta i, by I any got means, my but... my little i got knocked over my lunch money stolen by a <laughs> a, a deck that drafted the Maribel. oh dude yeah i drafted it once in a in a game dude it's good it was right? killer yeah. like you if you can land it you're pretty well off yeah because you just free creature every t- it's like two, yes. playing two I was spells like, a turn every time i was like i set up good blocks and i wouldn't die if they didn't get this one creature off but, of merriman and yep, then they did and they got it so i was like no. um that's the thing like yeah. it's such a it's such a strong draft pick in my opinion it's yeah. a late game pick for sure but this is a late format anyway so like it it's kind of fine sure um so i i'm i'm enjoying the jank decks and like getting okay. to see some of people like play testing some new stuff because finally they can yeah uh, is pretty fun um but i do think uh, as far as the control route goes i'm like an esper uh gruel aggro still very strong um despite once upon a time not being in it uh i do think it's just a very very strong deck i think you're right um it just has so many things right now um it's got that big scary dragon right yeah Scargan and Hellkite? it's got uh, it? uh spellbreaker yeah i believe spell um spellbreakers in it uh i can't remember the full list. there's tons of good stuff for that deck there's though. a lot of good, good um, boys in there rakdos again looking very strong as an aggro deck as well so there's yeah. actually a lot of stuff that i'm into right now um yeah I like the idea of co- I, I want control decks to come back because That's I like control thing. decks. Yeah. Uh, and they can now kind of because Teferi. Well, one flavor, you one have flavor, to run. You, you have to run, run that. Teferi, and right. like it, it's fine. I, but I like, like heart. I like thinking back to the days when control decks only had to run like one card. Definitely. And that card was an island. And but like yeah. beyond that. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you. you. Know like I mean? you got some different flavors like that was what I really enjoyed about the modern environment for a while. Mm. Um, like Jeskai or, or American control, I guess, back in the day, it was before the term the term Jeskai was coined. But um, back, we didn't have to label all I of these know. things. We were labeled by our country, not by. our. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh that's really messed up um but the american control decks were really fun because they 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 had their strength which was burn Mm -hmm. but then you also had esper control list which had just like solid solid removal pieces right so like you could deal with the board really really well but you couldn't do the direct damage to the opponent um and then you had like just blue white control which was very focused on like like that who cares about removal like i'll sweep the board every once in a while but other than that like i'm just gonna counter everything and like there were different styles of control decks in that modern environment which was was i think very very fun to see because you never Mm -hmm. really a jeskai i think was the best at that time um and so you got a lot of those but you still got to see more of it now like even in modern it's blue white always yeah like it's just blue white and i think in <laughs> standard right now it's just esper like blue well, white definitely has to be there because of teferi right but i, I think, think you see you, a lot of blue white you start to play the black stuff for the mortifies and for some other their yeah. kaya's wrath and things like that because they're 
are not there's a couple decent wrath effects in white um mm -hmm. the new like adventure card the giant the seven seven vigilance comes right. to mind destroys all non-giants is that yes. what he does right. um which is good but yeah. like kaya's wrath seems a little bit better if you can pull it off like well isn't there no no wait there's a blue there's a blue white one there is uh you, you return thing. something and then you sweep yeah 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 um which is fine but i think it costs one more than kaya's wrath or something it's is, like is five kaya's wrath Kaiser Wrath is two white, two black. Right. Um, and then you gain life or something. But yes, you do off the toughness of the yes. of like is it it's not all the creatures removed, no, is it? No, it's no. just two of them. Um where's my where's my thing? I'm I'm gonna do this. You I don't remember. You talk. You talk. <sighs> so uh boys and girls, yeah. welcome to Boop the podcast uh, and the oh, podcast. just equal to the number of creatures that Damn were destroyed it, Kevin. that way. I thought that was something like that, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Um, but uh, that's a very good like because especially right now we are seeing a number of aggro decks. Yeah, like Kai's Wrath is no, no, no. The if there's a sweeper one. in the format, it's gonna get like it's <clears> gonna get played. It's gonna yeah. be in some list yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm all in on these adventure themed. Decks. Do you like the adventure themed decks? I uh, saw a yeah. really cool teamer one. Uh, so I think the best one's Golgari, actually, just like fully fleshed out. Well, so you have the that um, that big meaty green guy who draws you cards. Bing you, oh, Uvenwall Innkeeper. Yes, he draws you yeah, cards yeah. when you play creatures Absolutely. with adventure, right? Yeah, yeah. You've got your um, that love struck beast. Yeah, he's the one I was thinking. Uh, Beanstalk Giant's pretty good. Yes. It's just an end game. So you got a bunch of beaters, but then in Golgari, you've also got Murderous Rider. Right? Yes. You've got uh the the two two night flying um uh, raven thing. Yep, can't yeah. block. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name though. Well that's good. Yeah. You know, for three. Yeah, yeah. It does something return else. Return some return a card from your graveyard <laughs> to your hand. You got a couple of there's a one drop knight with I think it's death touch. Yeah, that draws you a card. Mm hmm Yep. And the you one. lose a life. That yep. one's good. That yep. I didn't really think Golgari, but that is a sweet mm -hmm. You uh, also combo. you can you get access to the, some good walkers too. Yeah, Vrask is there. Um, you get Assassin Trophy. Mm. Um, Garrick's there. Does Garrick get run much though? <sighs> really? I mean, maybe more now that Oko's. That's out, what I'm wondering because I know he wasn't really yeah, before. Not really, but I mean, um, you still like Fry kills him and uh, yeah. uh, Noxious Grasp does too. Um, do you uh, in this Golgari list? Yeah. Do you play the Lucky Clover? No, you don't really. I don't think you play that constructed, honestly. I saw so in the teamer deck. Uh -huh. Um, I think it's a bit of a win more. So like, That's I don't think this was That's a good list. Um, like, and it, it definitely you... got yeah. annihilated in the game. But yeah, like, oof. it did have a couple of very very sweet turns with the lucky clover out. Well, it's great when it's great. Like, yeah, but like, it doesn't. Unfortunately, I think uh, there's just a lot of ways to deal with it because like. The, what they were doing for instance it was again it was teamer focused so they yeah. did a lot uh, they had a um a lot of the love struck beasts and stuff like that of mm -hmm. course but then they also had like the bone crusher giant oh yeah that's the, um, exactly where my mind very went. sweet card dealing a lot of damage if you do have the lucky clovers out definitely um just a great card in general yeah it was uh they had the fey of wishes or whatever so you could pull yeah. stuff from your sideboard okay and like being able to trigger that they triggered it three times because they had two clovers out which was pretty oh, wow. sweet um and that won them that game but it was best two out of three obviously and okay. they lost overall um so i feel like it's really sweet if you can stall enough to make it sweet right but like for instance if you're just getting extra one ones off of your love struck beast like that's fine but kaya's wrath you know like there's right. so many what you just block they're one ones like it's not a big deal um and there's plenty of you know you get extra lands off the beanstalk giant for instance which is good but right. like at that point you know you should be just winning the game really heavily at that point like and so i don't know if it was like enough to play those or not it seemed I think a little it, like, bit like i would gimmicky. much rather have in my list i'd much rather have an answer than a lucky clover because yeah. i i feel like lucky clover their <clears throat> specific adventures will help you win if you can trigger yeah. them twice oh, yeah. uh but only if you're if it's pretty competitive, yeah. right? They'll help. It'll help you get ahead. Mm -hmm. um, I think if it's if you're at parity, basically you can you can pull it out with like yeah. clever. Yeah, yeah. I don't see you coming back because you still have to invest mana in that yeah. and then play some of these adventure guys. Yeah. And like you said, like which of them besides the giant? I guess murderous rider would be great. Kill murderous two rider's things, cool, you know? but like 
yeah, it's I teamer, mean, so you don't get it. Yeah, it's right. not. But like, I don't see it necessarily. I'd rather if okay, I'd rather like kill the threat. Yeah. Than. Then make another one. Then bank on drawing <laughs> a bunch of adventures that yeah. will proc it. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I get it. So, um, I was just interested to see like. Yeah. if that's a solid list i guess or not i only saw it once so that's mm. kind of why i was bringing it up but it's like, worth a try i could be wrong i'm open to it i just i i think you have to it feels it. a little slow but that's just me um regardless though uh lots of opportunities for new stuff coming out and i'm actually really excited about it um definitely very happy of the ban list this time around it sucks that they continuously have to keep banning stuff i do kind of just hate that mentality um uh, but there's not yeah. much you can do about it at this point like the, it was very clearly an oppressive deck you have to deal with it this is the only way to deal with it so i'm fine with it right um you couldn't wait till rotation so agreed unless they unless they printed <laughs> panic printing here it is yeah look in their player look in your opponent's library <laughs> look for these cards specifically <laughs> look at look in your opponent's library for a card named oko thief of crowns uh, get rid of that guy rip them in half rip them in half and then make Ante him up and make him let's eat. bring anti back make him eat it make him eat it what is anti they what? had anti in the first few sets so it was you like when you got into a game you had to mm -hmm. ante up a card and whoever won took both home yes like you to keep under the their card. pillow you literally would physically get that card from that per. you won that card from that person god we were so much more ruthless 20 years I know, ago <laughs> people were so much and they had like all these like hate cards like choke and stuff so it was like if you're playing a blue deck yeah. i'm just gonna choke you out and then it's like well here's my card you know <laughs> like done can't do anything yeah i'm sure that there's an overlap where choke was not available while they did annie but still i think that's interesting Dang. uh anyway rude <laughs> that's just rude yeah it's really fucked <laughs> that's up that's vicious uh let's talk about oh yeah the beautiful novel. oh oh sweet sweet daughter mine all right this, look yeah. this so i'm gonna preface this a little bit will had not heard much about this so he's excited i, think. I hadn't heard a goddamn um, thing about it the war of the spark forsaken novel um and i don't remember the author i'm sorry this happened weeks ago so we're a little <laughs> late but like <laughs> let's no let's oh, you keep talking i'm gonna yeah. look up the author uh please do um you can pin it down to he's not a great author. You can pin it down why to... Why is it a he? Could it be a she? No, it wasn't I'll he. tell you why. why I know that. I was going to say, I'll tell you why it's <laughs> not a he. I like to be in the camp of I don't think he's a bad author because he has done other things that were good. He's worked with Wizards before and it was decent, like well-received stuff. Are you sure? To my knowledge, yes. I'm fairly certain. Okay. I'm going to say 90% sure. Okay. Um, we'll go with that. I believe he has worked with Wizards before. It is by... I just saw his name. Do it. Greg. It's Greg. What? Wiseman. Yep. Um, Wait a minute. Greg Wiseman. He's done... Oh, there's other Wisemans that are good. He... Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of... So, if you watch, like, other videos on it, um, I know the professor did a full-length 15, 20-minute video on all this. Um, to my knowledge, there may have been a bit of a rus rushed schedule, uh, and he may have been... That's what oh, that's right uh, what you're so he worked on gargoyles the spectacular spider-man and young justice that's where i know him from. uh okay he did car he did cartoons for years there you go um i watched the shit out of gargoyles dude how good was that show he did um, bionicle the movie how do what? you go from, <laughs> how do you go from bionicle the movie to writing a, a book novel. where the line a girl is written <laughs> unironically yeah to wait for that yeah if you if you were thinking about oh, maybe i'm gonna go listen to that murder podcast just wait a second wait a second this, this is gonna get good it's gonna get spicy uh anyway the long story short this novel has not been well received by anybody that's read no. it no can um, you guess it's i won't make you guess it's review on amazon oh please tell me uh it's got one star right now oh i'm surprised it has that many <laughs> um a lot of yeah, people baby. I have not heard a good review on this, like, yeah. at all. Um, Wizards officially, as of November 22nd, released an apology. Yeah, this is on, the first I've ever heard of a 
Yeah. Ooh, uh, a, a shocking 76% <laughs> one star review. Um, yeah. On the whole Chandra thing. So if you don't know what's going on with the Chandra Nissa drama, basically throughout all of the like past lore, they've been hinting at like they're romantically like interested in each other and they're, you know, into that kind of thing. Cool. Totally fine. All of a sudden now, Wizards was like, hey, we're going to left turn you and say, nah, Chandra's not into you. And it like turned into this whole thing where a lot of people are getting really, really frustrated about it. So do you want to read this? Because you've been really excited to read this. I want to read. I want to read. Yes. I also you want to read reviews, read, though? Uh, there's going to be. Re- let's let me read one review. Yeah, we'll do the reading. I'll read the Chandra thing and then you can. I'm gonna I'm gonna open. Let's sandwich it with reviews. I'm gonna read a review. Yeah, you read the Chandra thing, and, and then, then we'll, I'll, I'll yeah. read this other review. All right, cool. <laughs> After the first novel, I'm surprised they allowed this to be published. Okay, sure. <laughs> do you hate previously established MTG lore? Greg Wiseman does. <laughs> do you want to see character relationships carefully established over many sets and years get burned to the ground? Greg Wiseman does. <laughs> Jeez. Do you want to question whether a novel should be canon at all? Greg Wiseman does. <laughs> Do you love Gap more than anything and think she should be the main character of MTG and get special or defying treatment? Greg Wiseman does. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> but you enjoy it. But Greg Wiseman does. <laughs> yeah. All right. Read that. Uh, read that so thing. the passage, there's, this is only part of the passage from the, the book about this whole Chandra Nissa thing, but... Uh, and we're quoting Chandra had never been into girls, her crushes, uh, and she'd had, she's oh, gi- had oh, her give fair me some, share. Oh, give me some flair. We're Start that shit over. You're coming in cold. I need you, you red hot, baby. What? Give me some, give me some, sell it. I don't know how to do that. Sell it. I'm a, po- I'm a podcaster. I don't read things for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Use your sweet voice and sell it, Kev. I want you this is the trailer right here. We're going to shoot this movie. Shit, we didn't have a trailer. Kevin, we need it in 20 minutes. Go. All right, I'm just going to give this to you because you seem really fired up about this. (laughs) I'm just reading this. All right. Chandra had never been into, into girls, her crushes, and she'd have her fair share. We're mostly the brawny and decidedly male types like decidedly kids. Decidedly male. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not paraphrasing at all. Mostly the brawny and definitely a man. They are definitely men. They can't sell to you more in this passage how much <laughs> her previous crushes had had some junk. And they were brawny, too. <laughs> Muscly, and they had some... They were just they meaty had hogs. Little white gives new definition to white weenie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But there had always been something about Nissa. I can't say her last name. Nalar? No. Oh, oh, oh. I, is I it see. Ravine? Ravane? Ravani? There had always been something about <laughs> Nissa specifically, something the two of them shared in the great chemical mix, arcing between them like one of Ralzarek's lightning bolts that had thrilled her from the moment they first met. What a good sentence. Now everything's different. It was over before it ever had a chance to begin. Maybe. Maybe they had missed their moment. Hey, girl. I don't. <laughs> and then a Johnny pops in. Hey, girl. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta touch on the Johnny bit. Yeah, um, I don't know the context of all this. Um, I don't it, either. I don't know. That, again, I have not read this novel, so I'm just looking at. We need um, to read it. So there, there's just a couple sentences here. <laughs> well, yeah. I'd like that. Chandra said. Hey, girl. Said a Johnny. <laughs> Grinning his Leonin grin. Like, what does that even mean? Here's, okay. His Leonin grin. That's the other thing. So, we'll <laughs> talk about the second part first. Uh, they just want to remind you again that he's a cat person. Yeah. One, I guess. Two, though, they like, Leonin grin is an established type of grin. Type like, of grin. We understand what bedroom eyes are. <laughs> we get that. Uh-huh. He could have had like... But what is a Leonin grin? The man's got fangs. Is he trying to be coy? He looks like he's gonna eat me. Like that's not fair. It's just, it's just bad. His monster like, cat grin. His monster cat grin. Um. Yeah. yeah so Wizards did release their apology Talk over the past about. week. Uh, we've seen and heard strong reactions from fans about how we handled the resolution of the Nissa Chandra romantic relationship in the recent Forsaken novel, and we apologize. We didn't live up to the expectations we created for Chandra and what she meant, what she means to our fans. 
Chandra will love and be involved with many characters as her story unfolds, but they'll all be brawny men. <laughs> regardless of her uh, regardless of gender, she will explore her relationships with fire and passion as she as she adventures across the multiverse. She is the character you've come to know and see yourself, your friends, and your family in over the past decade. That's a weird... Uh, a value we hold dear is that our characters belong as much to our fans as they do uh, to those of us who helped create and shepherd them. Moving forward, we will take ca more care to ensure they stay true to their ideals, their identity, and the history we have carefully curated. None more so than one as beloved as Chandra Nalar. Which cool they did not live up to that in this novel <laughs> right uh okay okay i read the so this was by so this article was like claimed to be written by the creative teams at wizards of the coast and del rey i read lana del rey right i don't <laughs> just like out of habit i've no. never seen del rey other than lana del rey yeah so. i think they're a publishing company that makes books oh that makes sense i think I mean, I, that makes sense. Oh, you know what? No, yes, they did. Uh, they had a printing of Lord of the Rings books. Oh, that's why I remember them because my yeah, first copies of of Lord of the Rings were like the five, the four, so the Hobbit and the, th the yeah. trilogy, yeah, yeah. and it's by Del Rey. Um, got another review for us? Uh yes, and this one, this one comes in at a resounding five stars. Are you serious? <laughs> uh yeah, check this out. Yeah, tell me. Uh, I want, I want you. I'm gonna read this review. Yeah. I want you because I have an idea about what kind of deck this man specifically plays. Oh God. I okay. want you to guess what it is. All right. This is like a whole mini game we could be coming up with. By the way, <laughs> like the review is titled "Get Over It." November thirteenth, two thousand nine. <laughs> Just uploading this to piss off all the triggered people. The novel isn't badly written whatsoever. Period. I'd like to posit that he did <laughs> uh, that he did not make it to the A girl line. <laughs> I don't think he got that far in, because that would have I would have at least like not put that in my review. <laughs> <laughs> I would say this novel is written. Period. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason people are pissed is because their favorite characters didn't initiate a same sex relationship. Period. No, I'm pretty sure. A girl's also real bad. <laughs> one is a very asexual and considers herself one with nature, so has no need for intimacy or love. Again, uh, this is probably the only magic novel he has read. Yeah, I was going to say. That's established lore. That's uh, really not. The other is a, flake, a flaky bisexual hothead who can't control her emotions. It's like people don't understand. It's like they read like at all. It's like they read just a color alignment chart right but like the first sentence right they're like well green she's one with nature <laughs> right and red she's fiery and red hot. I've like, I've, right <laughs> right what an idiot i'm sorry what, what kind of deck do you think he he it's gonna be some trolley fucking deck no nah, dude mono white all the time <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> white's what the, the fuck? yeah that that man doesn't play that man's well he he ruins his whole review by saying i'm upvoting this only to piss everybody off like, i mean yeah. right there you discredit your review well, maybe there's a middle in uh oh let's see does he got more no he does we're assuming it's a he sorry it's we a, assumed it's it, a he we assumed it was a brawny it's man a he. oh he's not brawny oh okay. he's he's probably wait hey kev quick aside yeah quick, hey viewers you can go sit go somewhere else for a second. how tall is zach <laughs> uh, I want to miss him with this joke. Uh, I'm going to say like 5'6". Okay. So this dude's clearly a 5'4". Little... Oh, wait. <laughs> viewers, come back. <laughs> so this dude's clearly a 5'4", just angry little troll. Yeah. Him and his two chins can fuck right off and do a real book. Go back to your bridge. Yeah. Just, he doesn't believe in bridges. He builds fences. No. He builds walls. <laughs> next. <laughs> uh, Damn. Uh, next. This we're is alienating so, a little bit of our yeah, audience. Yeah, we are here. very alien. We've never been this like pissed off about something we haven't read before. I'm, not, I'm very <laughs> just just uh I do want to point out in all like I guess seriousness, we've read excerpts from this book. Yeah. And I have read very book. significant reviews from what other people have put. However, I've not read the book by myself. So I can't just be like the whole book sucks ass. I can say the excerpts I've read have sucked ass <laughs> like they're just not yeah. well written uh i do think what they did with chandra is like kind of messed up 
obviously that's just like very out of left field yeah. like i i don't know why that decision was made is my thing yeah um and like to bring it back to seriousness i don't get why um I think that's just kind of stupid. I know a lot of people are considering it homophobic and stuff like that. I don't know that I would take it I'm to not that gonna, extent. I'm not going to speak on that just because I'm I've not, not read it. I, um, exactly. Like I can't. Yeah. I can't justify giving a I full on review of something I haven't read. That's from not fair. these reviews that I've just quickly skimmed. It yeah. seems to me like Chandra uh, forgoes her previous um, uh, same sex interest yeah. in favor of some. Uh, you know hetero ones yeah maybe i think is, I, I don't, and that's yeah and that's without context right. so we don't know for sure uh, but. which i think if that is the case mm. that's kind of shitty yeah you know um, yeah, yeah well they make a strong point to say like they reiterate this the fact that it's like well she was always interested in guys and like all this they like they do a couple sure. lines outside of the one that we just read because i again i've read a few excerpts from other people and stuff like that and like yeah. they've said I'll, they say a lot where it's like wait, reiterating wait wait i thought she and liliana were a they, couple i don't know i don't know what's all this about nissa now i just think oh, i'm confused maybe i don't know i think she's Oh, I almost said something really inappropriate. <laughs> Regardless, I just want to say really bad. Don't, don't. I we, won't. We've already been. Tell me after. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Regardless, though, uh, this novel's bad. Is the takeaway? I um, want to read it. I'm gonna I don't. Re- I'm I, going to read it. I want to read it for the sake of like having an uh, educated opinion, and then the other part of me is like, nah, it's a waste of time. I'm gonna, so I'm, like, I'm gonna read it to waste my time. Actually, okay. if you're I willing so much to, then I'm to definitely not gonna. So. I'll, uh, I'll I'll highlight some parts for you. Yeah, please. So just like just tell me how bad bring it him, is, bring and then I'll table. be like, cool. All right, thanks. Sink your teeth into this. Yeah, you who read the classics. Bring it back. Look, next podcast, bring All it back. Right. I got highlight two weeks some to read things. It. You got two weeks. I'm I sure it's that. not that bad. I'm sure it's awful. I, I mean, I like, as far as the time you'll need to read oh, it. Oh, no, 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 yeah. It's the probably book like, is going to be garbage. It's probably like yeah, 180 100%. pages, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. not bad at all. Now, like, guys, there's never... I All right. I'm going to say this kind of knowing that I there's a possibility I'm wrong. But there's really not good literature for, like, games like this. Like, card games, yeah, well, video games, like, League of Legends lore sucks <laughs> makes no sense right <laughs> the only there there are two companies that got it right in my yeah. in my experience uh blizzard yeah their lore is pretty spot on yeah uh, their books are okay uh and then uh games workshop who has the uh warhammer 40k mm-hmm. stuff um they're like they have some pretty talented authors yeah. they also have some pretty shitty authors <laughs> I've read a lot of their books. Yeah. Uh, and they have some legitimate, like, fantastically creative, like, page turn and page burning, mm-hmm. well, books. But uh, everything else I've tried, like, I tried to read Halo books. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. That's rough. That was. That was a mistake. Uh, they're, the Star Wars books. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Ouch. Yikes. Yeah uh a lot of did you ever try and read the og like mtg novels no okay i didn't um i'm not gonna lie and say they were super well written by any means but i did go back and read the brothers war Mm -hmm. and i started in on planeswalkers okay um and they were they held my attention and despite a few like potential typos (laughs) for real for real um yikes yeah that's a little rough but despite that I will say they were actually interesting, and okay. but uh, he, and here's my caveat to all of this. Okay, a lot of what I find interesting about it is that I already know of these characters, and this is just filling in backstory. Sure. And so I don't know if like at the time they had come out, if I was reading about them, if I would have found them quite as interesting. Sure. You know what I mean? Because for me, it's like <laughs> okay, Urza. We all know he was like this great planeswalker and all this stuff, who's yeah. now headless. But like true. We don't like for someone like me who had not originally read that uh, that origin story of Urza and Mishra. Like it, it was actually just interesting to fill in all of that, and like 
I think I really uh, like I enjoyed it more for that reason. Okay. I think going back, it probably wasn't super well written, and obviously typos are like you should not have typos in a published no, book. Yeah, just um, edit it. Just <laughs> edit. Yeah, it's not hard. Um, just proofread. But regardless, work. like I will say the. It was interesting enough for me going back to it that like I would enjoy I enjoyed reading that book and like I would definitely continue reading like I'm in Planeswalkers. I've put it down for a short amount of time because of other stuff going on and I'm lazy when it comes to reading. OK, but like I mean, to be brutally honest, but like it's interesting enough that, yeah, I could pick it up and I'd still be super interested in the story and like yeah. learning about, you know, more about Mishra and more or excuse me, more about Urza. Yeah. Uh, and more about that that whole backstory, just because. Again, I've, I I know these characters, but I don't know everything about them. And so it's that kind of a thing. But I don't think that that doesn't make it a good book is my thing. Sure. Um, I do think that writing is more compelling and interesting than the writing that we have nowadays. And personal opinion, I think there's a lot more detail, and a lot more interesting stuff going on, whereas now it's just like it's very like how can we shorten this to make it easily digestible and fit oh, marketing see. wise and like that whole yeah. thing. Um, which I get, that's just the changing of the times and like your, mar your target audience and stuff. I get that. But like, nah, I think it's kind of, well, I think it's a cop out a little bit, but like, not that's... having read it, I won't like, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I, mean, I, I don't have a frame of reference for magic books. <laughs> yeah. Personally. <clears throat> so, um, I've read, so I've read a number again, brothers War. I've read. Yeah. Uh, I've read some of the new stories from like hour of devastation up. I've read some of the new, like, because they would do, like, online articles and, you know, little excerpts oh, there. You're so fucking right. I forgot about their online yeah, stories. Yeah, they did online stuff. None of those are good at all. No, that's what I'm saying. I think those yeah, are bad in comparison bad. to the previous novels. How do you now, fuck up a short story? That's my thing. It's, like, it's really easy to, to write a short story. Um, I say that. Some writer out there is going to be like, no, it's really important. I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. I'm not a writer, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, sure, like, I'm sure... I'm sure short stories are a little more difficult. Yes. But like not, but not you short have stories less... about magic. No. You just tell a cool story. Yeah. Some planeswalker goes to a place and there's bad stuff happening. And then he's like, <laughs> kaboom. And then it didn't happen because yeah. he saved the day or she. Yeah. And maybe along the way they pick up some sweet side biddies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Chandra does. Anyway, I also read the comics from back in the day um, for another person's podcast that I jumped on. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That I'm, was I'm excited very to, cringeworthy. So I'm excited for you to venture back to the podcast, that one. Tell me how oh, it goes. God, that was, the podcast was fun. I enjoyed yeah. being on the podcast. Like yeah. We had a good time. Uh, it was a long yeah. talk, but it was a fun talk. Good, good, the, good, good, the comics good. were really bad just just terrible ouch and like especially because again having read the brothers war and the comic that follows that story mm -hmm. it's just a gross oversimplify i mean it's a comic they're gonna simplify right. it i get that but it's just like why did you even do this like yeah. there's no point you're missing so many arcs of this like i didn't get anything from the comic book like <laughs> who was that fella scheming in the very end was it uh uh oh yeah uh was it yogmoth i think yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Just for no reason. Yeah, it was just one the panel of, the, of, of him print. just being like, Mwahaha, and then that's it. <laughs> right. That uh, that tickles me so much. <laughs> that's so stupid. Do you know if it had like a, a continuation or is that the comic like a one of? Or so they uh, like they got. I, I read them in order I, for the parts that I read. Was that the last one? Um, like no, that was the start of that. He doesn't get picked up at all. He was in the Brothers War book. Like right, he was right, a big, right, 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 kind of very key character and all I mean, that for the story but like yeah he he didn't do anything he was just in that panel there, there was nothing else of him that i saw i mean like yeah i i don't know in the comics there was nothing it was just a panel it was an evil nah. cool go you nah. way to be there in one panel <laughs> nah. so comics sucked is my takeaway the new stuff sucks i enjoy the old ones but i don't know if that's just because i like learning about the characters yeah so I can't necessarily say it's super well written. I'm just, how much do you have to just want to be done with the project to write the line "grinned his Leon and grin"? Like, describe it with a made-up adjective. What? That's all I want to know. 
Like, how much do you just want to be like, shit, this is the last book in my contract. Yeah. I just got to put fingers to keys, baby. Let's go. I don't even care. What happens? Who do they sleep with? Everybody? Nah, fuck it. Too hard. Nobody. Done. Uh, what's Johnny doing? He's, He's fine. Grinning. He's grinning. That Leon and Hey, grin. girl. These are the only two extras I read. Let's see if there's something else I've to write or whistle. I've read a more of the well, Is there anything else to, to, to just to sink or to teeth ramp on? on about magic uh, right now or the book the book you fool uh, the book's terrible why do we need to keep harping on it it's uh, so bad yeah you're right uh we don't need to harp on all these bad things all right Kevin, but all these good things are going on name one i rest my case <laughs> um oh we didn't talk about this but there's a bunch of commander Excuse um me. uh product coming out oh yeah yeah just oh i forgot about way. all that yeah we did um we we missed the boat on that. Uh, there's also the secret layer thing. I don't know what that is. I haven't read into it. Huh? There's a whole secret layer thing going on. It, Google MTG secret layer. Have you not, dude? Keep up. You you co-host a podcast. Get your shit together. Secret layer. R and D secret layer. He's a secret layer box. That's probably it, right? It's not this unhinged thing. No, it? it's a secret layer box. It's we know about the new one. Right. Set. I was going to say. And that's not super exciting. The secret layer. I mean, it is, but. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do what? It just jumped to the beginning. Oh. It's ninja here. Whatever. It's okay. They, like, tease three things with it about, like, multiple art or something like that. I don't know. Mm. We should open okay. these packs. Okay. We should do the Cracker Pack section. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, the Cracker Packs are sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Go check them out. Facebook group in the description. While Will is learning about the secret layer. A layer the secret layer is a pre-made box designed specifically for what MTG players want. What? According to Watsy. I want reserve list cards. For I was going to say, you can't <laughs> say that. Uh, well, I got Murderous Rider, so I'm going to take that. Yep. <laughs> That's a strong pick. <laughs> I, I have a couple okay cards, but Murderous Rider is 100% the pick. <laughs> There's no doubt. I got Oathsworn Knight. Again, 100% the pick. Yeah, it's just a solid card. That was easy as crap. Heck yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is a good card. Oh, yeah. Dude, Resolute Rider is on point. So, is there anything else? Give him that indestructible. Yeah. There's nothing else worth considering for a, well over that. Um, Sir Kara's pretty solid, but a like little a, underwhelming. I mean, think? he's good, but yeah, he's a little underwhelming. I will say. She, she having did. played, oh excuse me, she. Jesus. Uh, having played, I was like, no, she's good, but not as amazing as I was hoping. I mean, I like, I like Penguin's touch. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that was great. I mean, she's not bad. I think no, ooh. she's good. I mean, this isn't bad either. Sir Farron? That's solid. Yeah, actually. But, but it's fine. But Oathsworn yeah. Knight's way better. Oathsworn Knight's um, very good. Because now, the <clears throat> thing, we got a, a sweet attacker. Yeah. Uh, who's a knight. Puts a squarely in that. Oathsworn Knight's just a dope card. Yeah, it is a sweet card. Um, I think I might even play it like, in Constructed Knights if I had the opportunity. Yeah, I think some people do. Um. Yeah, because that, I mean, that plus one, plus one counter caveat is very strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? That's just good. Absolutely. Um, any, uh, any stories to round us out on this episode? Um, I cubed the other day with Nathaniel. We had a good time. You cubed with Nathaniel? Yeah, we were going to invite you, but I didn't. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why we didn't invite you, but... Um, no, we, we had a good time. I don't know how to feel about that. We uh How bad you beat him? Pretty three oh. Alright. Um we Winston drafted the cube, uh, and we had a really yeah. good time playing. Uh he was really, really stoked because and this is this is so cute. When people cube draft but don't know exactly what's good in a cube draft. Like in sure. a legacy draft legacy style cube, yeah. like there are clearly some good cards and there's clearly some cards that are I like this that... is a bit of a trap omniscience is a bit of a trap unless oh, you're God. sneaking showing That's and good. he just immediately pulled omniscience and he was like all right i'm in <laughs> you gotta um, really like you gotta really go for omniscience if you're gonna do it um he did actually he got very close to beating me once 
Um, in fact, I was dead the next turn. However, I drew sneak attack and I had Emrakul in my hand. Um, okay. And so I won because <laughs> that's how sneak attack and Emrakul works. That makes sense. Um, I also had a Splinter Twin combo that he kept disrupting. Really? Um, yeah, he actually did a really good job mm. of managing that. Um, those are my two like almost auto win combos, basically, I'll say. Because uh, okay. sneak attack isn't necessarily an auto win. Um, but uh, I had out Pester Might and I had Splinter Twin in hand. And then he sweeped the board. And then he put out, um, or he may have had it out previously, but he had Winter Orb out. And then Oof. he also had um, Ghostly Prison. Oh, wow. So I like, even if I could make what infinite tokens, boy. like I had to pay for everyone that was going to attack him, which yeah. made it really bad. And so I didn't go for the Splinter Twin. He ended up killing the Pestermite. And then the next turn, I had had Emrakul in hand and I drew the sneak attack. And I was like, okay, I win. Um, but like, if I didn't have that, I was at like two life or something. Like he was going to win. Um, of course, so. He- beat him with broken nonsense yeah of course that's what so that makes sense i mean that's what you do in like cq uh, not me and funny to be enough. fair he did have uh show and tell as an option oh there you go um but he didn't play it <clears throat> um okay probably a fair thing to not do though well if you had ember cool yeah um i mean yeah. just in general you tend to avoid that in something like a legacy cube but that's yeah. just my thought um man i uh did we get pioneer right okay we didn't get pioneer there was bands. nothing banned. Right. that's right yeah that's right and pioneer cool um i didn't think so which is good i'm I, pioneer's been really interesting oh, to it's watch so good yeah, yeah yeah pioneer's so good it's a good format i'm into it um but yeah. i think that's it i don't have anything else to talk about uh i think i'm you good yeah i think i'm i think i'm i think i'm happy with that, all of that stuff. Good. On that note, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. All right, let's do it. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Kevin. My name's Will. This has been it. Resolves. I want to just write canon lore for every Hall of Famer out there. <laughs>